Well, in this video, we will learn how to make a finite element analysis for a simple pressure vessel created by a CG software, and we will make the finite element analysis using Autodesk Inventor Finite Element Analysis tool. Here we will generate uh, this vessel in the next tutorial. Uh, from SCG software, we will create a new project, define the project name and select the location. After that, we will rename the equipment. We will generate the first element, which is the left head. Select the type as ellipsoidal head with crown and the knuckle radius. Define the inside diameter as the other dimensions. Create a shell type uh, as a shell without any building lines. Define the dimensions of this element. Create another ellipsoidal head and let's make it looks like that first head and we will flip the direction of this head. Now we will make a, a preview for parent and the child during creation. Here we have the uh, assembly of the model. After that let's add the support from here. Let's select the cradle type 1 and let's define the dimensions of this uh, the weir plate define the dimensions of the support uh, saddle define the location and orientation now let's click save and click start as simply now we have this support saddle let's change the location a little bit let's make it on 100 let's add another support saddle and make it looks like the first saddle. Let's change the location and make it flipped. Now let's add some other nozzles to the first head. Select uh, this nozzle as a long weld neck nozzle. Define the rating and size. The projection from seam line. Add another nozzle to the second head. Define it as a nozzle from pipe with the reinforced pad. Offset from fusel center line. Let's add a flange to this nozzle. Select it as a SME long weld neck flange, uh, wrist face weld neck flange according to uh, SME B16.5. Now let's add another nozzle to shell. Let's select as a forged hub nozzle. Select the size, schedule. Define the location, hub height, hub thickness and bevel height. Let's add a flange to this nozzle. Select type, rating, schedule. And let's define the projection of this nozzle. Let's increase it a little bit. Now let's run the assembly. Now we have nozzle N1. After that, the uh, saddle, first saddle location will be modified because we change it to 100 millimeters instead of 200. That's the second saddle support. The uh, nozzle in three as a forged hub. The last nozzle which is in two on the right head as a nozzle with reinforced bed, nozzle from pipe with reinforced bed. Now we have a 3D model for this uh, uh, vessel. Now let's create the opening. Let's load nozzles and make the clearance as zero and click on create process. Now if we take a section on the vessel, you can figure that we get the nozzle holding on elements. Now let's create a rectangle and make a cut for the half of this model. And during the finite element analysis, we will make it as a set symmetrical uh, part. Now let's define uh, the finite element study. And from here, let's define some and modify the mesh setting. Now, during the uh, mesh analysis, here, uh, let's increase uh, some uh, mesh uh, values for the shell and head and change it to be four millimeters to increase the number of elements on the thickness of the shell and let's update the mesh setting here you can figure that the uh, number of elements 
uh, are increased. Now let's fix the first saddle and make the second one as uh, frictionless. Let's select those surfaces and define them as frictionless surfaces to make them as a symmetrical faces. Select those faces uh, uh, which they are facing the internal design pressure. Defined the name of this force uh, of this pressure as internal design pressure. Now we define the internal design pressure. Let's run the assembly. Now we have the analysis uh, or the finite element analysis for this vessel. And here we have the maximum von Mises stress calculated. It's around 32 megapascal. If we uh, make the uh, red color uh, referred to 10 megapascal, you can see the changes. Now let's make some animation to figure out uh, the direction of movement regarding the uh, uh, internal pressure uh, load. Here we have the displacement. Finally, we get uh, this analysis, and you can get those forces and compare them with the ASME uh, for, uh, loads. Thank you for your time.